Hi everyone. Today's video we are going to be looking at polynomial long division. Now it sounds really scary but actually it's done a lot like regular long division. So I'm going to get myself a polynomial. I'm going to start with a regular polynomial and I'm going to divide it by a linear factor. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, how about we do x to the fifth plus x cubed minus x squared minus 14x plus 10. And we're going to divide this by, uh, let's make that a little nicer. All right, our linear factor. Uh, let's just say x plus 1. Okay? Now, the reason this factor is linear, the largest power of x is 1. Now, just like long division, I'm going to take what I'm dividing by. It's going to go on the outside. So x plus 1. And then I'm going to make my long division. Um, nice little housing, I like to call it. I don't know. Anyway, what you need to do, if it skips powers, like there's no x to the fourth, we're going to fill in with zeros. So I have 1x to the fifth power plus 0x to the fourth power plus 1x to the third power minus 1x to the second power minus 14x to the first power and plus 10 which is x to the 0 power because there are no x's. Okay? Now I say to myself, self, what times x will give you x to the fifth? Well, you know you have to add exponents so that means I need an x to the fourth power. So I take x to the fourth times both of those. So x to the fourth times x gives me x to the fifth power. x to the fourth times 1 gives me plus 1x to the fourth power. The next thing I have to do is subtract. So I'm going to change colors every time I do my subtracting. Now, to subtract means I have to change the sign of everything being subtracted. So minus this and minus this. Now I just combine like terms. So this cancels. That will always happen because we set it up that way. 0x to the 4th minus 1x to the 4th is negative x to the 4th. Okay, bring the next one down. Okay, just like in long division. You bring the next term down. So there's my arrow. So plus x to the 3rd. And I say what times x will give me negative x to the fourth? Well, a negative x to the third power. So I take negative x to the third times x, and that gives me negative x to the third. Negative x to the third times 1 gives me negative I said x to the fourth, and I wrote my x to the third. Shame on me. This needs to be because x to the third times x gives you x to the fourth. I apologize. Negative x to the third times 1 gives me negative x to the third power. All right. Now I have to do my subtracting. So how do we subtract? We change the sign of what we're subtracting. So these now become positive. So I say, because minus a negative becomes plus. Minus a negative becomes a plus. So this cancels out. This cancels out. And I'm left with zero. Okay. 
So that means I'm not going to just bring down one. I'm going to bring down my next two terms. So I have a negative x squared and a negative 14x. And then I say, what times 1x gives me negative x to the second power? Well, it's going to be a negative 1 and an x. Negative x times x gives me negative x to the second power. Negative x times positive 1 gives me negative 1x. Okay, now I have to subtract. So, how do you subtract a negative? Minus a negative becomes positive. So, minus a negative becomes plus, minus a negative becomes plus, and we subtract them straight down. So, this one cancels out. Negative 14x plus x is negative 13x. Okay, we're then going to bring down our last term. What times, oops, I need to write it, plus 10. What times x gives me negative 13x? Well, a negative 13. So negative 13 times x gives me negative 13x. Then I take negative 13 times 1, and that gives me negative 13. My next step is to subtract. So, minus a negative becomes a plus. So, plus, and then minus a negative becomes a plus. This cancels out 10 minus negative 13, which means plus 13, leaves me with 23. Now, this here is the remainder. Here's how we write our remainder. We write it, we say, since it's positive, we say plus 23 over what we're dividing by, x plus 1. x plus 1. So everything up here, just like regular long division, is your answer. I have x to the 4th minus x to the 3rd minus x to the first, minus 13, plus 23 over x plus 1 is your remainder. All right, now that's how we do polynomial long division. It's long. <laughs> have fun and have a great day.